still shot it anyways. All right, we are back. So my only problem with Need for Speed Underground 2, first off, can I say, again, that last game, had a lot of fun with it. Um, ton of fun, man, but I am excited to move on to some other things. We've been playing that for a while. But my only problem with Need for Speed Underground 2, and it's not even a problem with the game, it's just because I'm streaming it, is that all of the copyrighted music in it. <laughs> like, obviously, when I'm not streaming it, I love having all of the, uh, all the real songs by, you know, well-known artists and stuff like that. But it kind of sucks whenever I'm trying to stream, because then I have to turn off the music, and it, uh, <laughs> it's upsetting. Gonna have to find your original Xbox to see if you can get Need for Speed to work. Oh man, I had so much fun with Need for Speed growing up. I haven't played it in a long, long time. And I've never beaten the game either, for that matter. But, uh, but yeah, it is really good. Really good. Let's, uh, yeah, just turn all the music down, sadly. As much as I don't want to, we kind of have to. Master volume can stay up and... Oh, nope. Go back. Is there a... I was going to see if there was a save or something, but I guess we don't really... Uh, It should save once we get into the game. Oh, video settings? We can turn widescreen mode on? Nah, I like the 4x3. The PS2 to me seems like a wide... Or, I'm sorry, a 4x3 console, you know? I understand a lot of games did support 16x9, and I could switch over to that, but it just feels better uh yeah yeah turn on auto save it feels better as a 4x3 console to me though ea game tracks what was that burnout 3 takedown burnout's an awesome game series we figured that out we played that a little while ago okay let's get out of the options let's get into the actual game play a little bit of need for speed man this is one of the ones i've actually been pretty excited to play again because like i said i played a lot growing up and had a crap ton of fun with it just uh, haven't had the chance to. Back when EA made good games, very true. <laughs> That's uh, I'm kind of how I feel about like Activision Blizzard too. You know, I'm a, I'm not happy with the acquisition from Microsoft, but I uh, am excited to see if they'll start making games that aren't Call of Duty and possibly new games. You know, <laughs> that would be nice. Turn the game up a little bit. Lord of the Rings is uh, super loud for some reason. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. I think the only studio you're still happy with is High Moon. I don't... What do they make? I'm not sure. Uh, it sounds vaguely familiar, but I, I'm not sure if I know... If I know them, to be completely honest with you. Need to mark down that I've played this game as well before I forget. L M N Need for Speed Underground 2. True, I have played it. What's that take us up to now? Let's check here. So that means there's now 111 games in the collection and 46 games, including this one, that I've played on stream so far, and two of them that I've completely finished on stream, at least with the, the main objective. Not necessarily, you know, 100%, but... We like what we see. Phil so Spencer said he wants to bring back some of the old IP, so hopefully... Yeah, I do hope so, and like... I've, I've talked about it a couple times on stream, but it, it's a real double-edged sword, man. Like, I'm uh, happy that the crappy management is probably on their way out at Activision if this happens. I'm happy that some of the old IPs will most likely be coming back, and that there will probably be some good games being made from them again. I just hate exclusive titles. Especially whenever somebody takes an existing franchise or existing company and forces them to be exclusive. I, I despise that. It, it irritates me. I wish there wasn't any exclusives at all, but I understand that there's always going to be. Like, you know, Microsoft's always going to make games exclusively for their console. Sony's going to do the same thing. So is Nintendo. And, but, like... If Sony went out and bought, I don't know, Square Enix or something, I would be upset about that. The same way that I'm upset with Microsoft buying uh, Bethesda and and EA Activision. Or not EA. Uh, Activision Blizzard. It's just like, man, don't don't take these games that gamers have enjoyed on other consoles forever now and then force them to only make shit for you. That sucks. 
Now, my actual main gaming platform is PC, so, like, I, I get all of the Microsoft stuff one way or another, and even Sony lately has done a little bit better with bringing stuff over to PC. Um, lately, we'll see if they continue doing that. So, like, I get all of the games anyways, pretty much, but still, it's just irritating for the, for the general market. Nintendo is being a little more lenient on that. Rumor has it that they're going to be releasing Assassin's Creed on Twitch. Well, I mean, there has been a few Assassin's Creed games on Switch already. It's just, uh... Like, Nintendo's never going to be making their stuff on other consoles, you know? Like, I, I don't think they're ever going to make a Mario game for PlayStation. <laughs> that's that's what I mean, you know? But, yeah, there's, uh, what, the Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and 3 collection or something like that? Or maybe it's just the Ezio collection? I don't remember, but... Something like that, I, I remember seeing on, on Switch. Tired of your car? Trade it in for a different car at any car lot. Remember, when you trade in a car, you also lose all the parts that have been purchased for that car. I mean, fair. Oh, man, I missed They made Deadpool, Transformers, Destiny 1 and 2. I've never played a Destiny game. I wanted to play the first one when it came out, but they never did a PC port of it. And like I said, that's my main gaming platform. Hey, um, especially for... Whatchamacallit, for uh, shooters. Well, and uh, I've never played Deadpool Transformers either. <laughs> there has been rumors of a Nintendo Microsoft partnership and a few Switch exclusives have been coming to Xbox. Yeah, but they weren't Nintendo games, right? They were exclusive to Nintendo platforms at one time or another, but they weren't made by Nintendo. So, mad at them for not making the Switch 3DS game cartridge playable? I'm confused. <laughs> made them playable on what? Bro, that cell phone carrier symbol? Oh, Singular! I forgot Singular was even a thing, man. <laughs> I haven't, do they even still do cell phone service? Singular Mobile. That was a real thing, wasn't it? That's not, like, something exclusive. Yeah, that is, that was a real thing. It's, uh, I guess it's owned by AT&T now. So, I don't know if they still do stuff for them or not. Uh, welcome to the short message system. This is how you receive information during the game. Receive messages, icons will flash. Race events will appear as icons. Pressing up will allow you to get more information. Each race will have different icons associated. Left is the world map. Down and you can access your career statistics. Okay. Now you think they became at and Yeah, that's what I was reading. I, I did a quick Google search and saw <laughs> that's what it looked like. Hey, Dem Demkanes. Thank you for being here, man. Singular was a sponsor of the game. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looks like. I mean, they got their their logo front and center there. I mean, at the top of the screen, but you know, close enough. Uh, okay, so we don't need SMS instructions. Now check out the mini map. It's simple to use, but make sure you get familiar with it. This is okay. a big city, you know. I need my ride back soon, so meet me at the car lot highlighted on the mini map. We can do that. This is one of the things that I really loved about Need for Speed Underground 2 was the the open esque world, like being able to drive around and whatnot with it. Always thought that was really cool. Make it clear the 3DS is the precursor to the Switch, and you love backwards compatible. Oh, okay, you're mad that you can't play 3DS games on the Switch. I gotcha. I think that would have been a little hard to do because of the whole dual screen thing, but it would have been cool if it was possible though, for sure. Press down to, and to access your career statistics. Here you will find information relating to your overall performance as well as the visual rating of your car. While browsing your career status, you can also press right to access more detailed information about specific stage requirements you must complete in order to progress through your career. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, it's also got an arrow to just kind of tell us where to go. So, I mean, that kind of defeats the point of the mini-map, I feel like. You used to remember the locations of the hidden races? I definitely do not. Like I said, I played this game growing up, but I don't think I ever actually got that far in it. I don't think I owned it. I either rented it or maybe like a cousin had it or something like that. I don't remember, but yeah, I know I never got that far into it, but I loved what I did play of it. Um, I guess like in this situation, a mini-map probably would be a little bit helpful. Action Bruin in Fort Union, huh? Map preferences. The mini map can be set to remain static or rotate while driving or racing. Customize the map function uh, functionality for exploring race modes. Oh yes, that would actually be. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want that view. I, I like the, the the back view, please. I would actually like to change the map so it doesn't rotate. Didn't realize the stream was paused since my break. <laughs> wow, Mr. Noodle, how rude. <laughs> uh, camera. No, we want far. 
steer with left. What other options do you have? Oh, the D-pad. Lap info. Where is it gameplay? Um not off, static. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it static. AT&T was an OG carrier. AT&T stairs for American Telephone and Telegraph. It was invented by uh, after Western Union rejected the telephone. Yeah. Oh, really? That's cool. Kind of sucks. The company is shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, Mr. Noodle. It's fine. I was just joking with you, love. <laughs> it is no issue at all. Uh, we're going to ignore whatever that is for now. And going to focus on getting the to the objective, maybe. It's a weird path that it seems to be setting us down. Is this uh, is this GPS working? Oh, 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 oh. wait, <laughs> man, you suck at turning. Wow, Rue, that is rude. <laughs> I'm just getting a feel for it, you know. Is there a handbrake? Oh no, that's look behind us. Triangle switches that. I should have remembered that. Uh, R1. Is, what is R1? Is that a, that feels like it's some sort of break? Is that the handbrake? L1. Oh, that's that's Nos. <laughs> then L2 and R2. I don't really think they do anything. There's probably like a a control thing we could see somewhere. Oh yeah. Okay. That's definitely the <laughs> the handbrake. Either that or the rain actually makes the road much slippier than uh. Yeah, no, I think that's the handbrake, because <laughs> we slid like mad. Oh, man, the visibility is not very far in this game, especially when it's raining, is it? Holy crap. I think uh, we're supposed to be here somewhere. Thankfully, you can't really damage your car, because uh, <laughs> I would be screwed. Is it like in this, in this here? Where are we going? Hello? Game? Where am I going? I'm lost. All right, turn around. Man, you suck at turning and stopping. <laughs> nice crash. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I just suck at driving. Wow. Very supportive. There we go. I couldn't find the entrance to this area, okay? <laughs> Would you like to enter the shop? Let's do it. Lol. <laughs> You're funny. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're doing great. See? See? Mr. Noodle was supportive, at least. The rest of y'all are just mean. <laughs> I don't remember the cutscenes being like this. Like a, uh, like a comic book or something. Where have you been with my ride, huh? Noodle has to be. She's your girlfriend. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Still. Maybe so, but you ain't using my ride. Your cash to pick out a set of wheels. I'll call you later. How much cash do we have to start out with? That's the question here. Do I have enough to make a difference, or like, are we just gonna end up with the crappiest car known to man? I believe in you. Thank you. Thank oh, you, hey, Nate. See, two people yeah, support me. <laughs> you saw fifty. Uh. I'll check in with you later. All right. So we got a Mazda Miata. MX-5, a Honda Civic, Nissan 240SX. Do we not get a preview of the car? Oh, there we go. It's just being slow as crap to load, I guess. Rue's just here for the singing. Nobody should be here for the singing. The singing is terrible. And let's, uh, I'm not going to worry about the looks of the car. I'm just going to, I'm going to look at the stats. Let's see. Handling. I mean, we could probably use some of that. <laughs> uh, top speed acceleration is crap, although the handling's good on that one. Nissan, eh, a little bit of both. Mazda Miata's up there. Honda Civic has a slightly higher top speed, it looks like, than the others. Uh, maybe not. It still looks like it's at the bottom. Miata's got, or Miata's got pretty good handling. It looks like, looks like the Miata actually has the best handling and some of the best acceleration. Not literally the, be the best, but up there. The Miata and 240SX were generally the best, but the Civic is a classic. I'm kind of feeling the 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 Miata. What's everyone else saying? The 240SX. Nate says Civic. Everybody's uh everybody's a little all over the place, man. Nate really wants the Civic. 
Kane really wants the the 240SX. Odds no, you need the handling. I, I, I mean, you're not wrong. Name generator time. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to mark that I did a stretch. I, I, uh, I mean, you, the, the name generator. <laughs> I think you don't quite understand the name generator. That just picks a name there, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I can name my car, I'll name it Civic for you. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think we should go with the Ford Focus. <laughs> I'm joking. We get to name the car, Doofus? We do get to name the car? If we do, then yeah, okay. So we'll we'll take the 240SX, since that seems to be the, the other pick from people, and then we'll name it Civic. <laughs> How about that? Do you want this stock 240SX? Sure. <laughs> Let's go for that. We're going to have a 240SX named Civic. Your grandma drives a Focus. It's not so bad. I My sister had a uh, Ford Focus at one point, and it was an older one, and it was terrible. Like, you couldn't go up a incline of more than, like, I don't even know, man. Basically any hill. It was that bad, unless you turned off the AC. Because it just did not have enough power to run the AC and to move uphill. <laughs> like, it was terrible. The plus side was the, the car literally weighed nothing. So if you got stuck in the snow or something like that, you could just basically pull it out with one hand. <laughs> 2003, and it's a station wagon version. And wow, your sister sucked it. It sucked bad. Like, real bad. The new new Ford Focuses are okay. I've seen them, but I've never drove drove anything. Use name generator because it was the closest option. <laughs> There's a poll option. We probably could have done the poll, but oh well. Uh, okay, see you at the garage. Cool. Changing steering controls. Yeah, we already got that. Minimap legend. I should probably actually look at what that said. Minimap legend. Selecting left on the SMS HUD will access the world map. The world map is comprehensive overview. So hopefully it'll tell us there what... Oh, stop with the changing views. All right, so just garages and car lot, and then we have opponent cars in orange and our car in green. Okay. Cool. Unable to contact satellite. Hey, thanks for the follow, Jacob. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we probably we could have done a poll, but honestly, it seems so split that I'm not sure how much a poll would have really helped. Uh, <laughs> because everybody kind of wanted something different. With as many options as there were and how many people there were uh, all picking different things, everything probably would have had, like, one vote on it. See, when I'm when I'm paying a little bit of attention, I can drive not too bad, right? <laughs> I'm not saying it's 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 a, a great job that I'm doing here, but I, I, can, I can drive. And I haven't wrecked yet in real life. That counts for something, right? Hey, Mr. Noodle with another 5-bit cheer. Thank you so much, love. I appreciate you being here and being so supportive. Actually the best. Not bad top speed on this. I mean, I don't know how it compares to other vehicles. But, uh, okay, that was that was a little close. We might, might have taken that one a little bit hard, but... <laughs> I'm assuming this is where we're going. Yeah. Car slower than dirt right now. Yeah, I mean, I understand that it's going to be a lot faster, but for a stock car, I mean, it feels like it's not that bad. You only have 25 bits left now? Oh, no. Running low. IRL, maybe, but you're with Avalon. The car is kind of slowish. But it's stock, you know? It's going to get faster, obviously, but I was expecting, I don't know, like... 80-ish, maybe? <laughs> Obviously, once you start to throw NOS and and all of the uh, aftermarket parts and crap on it, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna blow what we got now out of the water. And if you haven't noticed yet, it's the place to be. The racing here is big. Whatever you like, you can find it if you know where to look. Drag, drift, circuits, and way more. 
The scene runs so deep, we're racing in places you wouldn't believe. Racing in places course, you wouldn't with that believe, comes huh? An opportunity for some serious money. Best of all, there's an invitation only series called the Underground Racing League for the elite driver where the coin and the props are off the hook. All it takes is the right cred and the proper connections. Okay. Remember, this is my town. You're a guest, so max respect. Round back is Tommy. He's a wizard under the hood. He'll hook you up. Hey, dude. Rachel set it up so you can handle all your business out of the garage. She set aside some room for you. Come on, I'll show you where you can store your rides. Thank you. Appreciate it. Y'all have been very helpful. Offering to work on my car basically for free and let me store it in the garage and shit if I'm just respectful. That's you nice, y'all. personal space. <laughs> You can lay out all your parts and gear here. There's also some tools in the back so you can custom tune your ride. What kind of... Can we do any tuning here in the beginning, or...? I Probably not, I imagine. Garage is where all your old car parts are shipped. Your entire inventory of purchase parts are available to reinstall on your car if you want to reinstall old parts. Okay. Tighten your ride by adjusting power and handling for each type of race so you can push your car to the max. Oh, okay, okay. That's kind of neat. So we can change it for each individual type of race. That's neat. Um, I mean, I don't know if we can really do anything with it now. Yeah, no, everything's everything's locked right now. Okay, so we'll, we'll worry about this later. But that's cool. I, d I don't actually remember this part being a thing, like being able to tune for everything like that. That's pretty neat. I like that. Uh, for now, though, I guess we just go back into explore mode, right? Like, we don't have any new parts or anything. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't unlocked any of this shit yet, so... Yeah, let's just get out of here, man. Return to explore mode. Maybe we can do a race. <laughs> racing in a racing game? No. That might be a little too much, man. I don't know. I don't know if we can handle all that. We'll try it out. Maybe just one. Just to see if we like it, you know? <laughs> oh, so if we were doing manual, that's what the R2 and L2 buttons are for. If we weren't uh being automatic clubs, you know? Nitrous handbrake is our one. I kind of figured that. By the way, we started spinning around in circles, you know. <laughs> oh, another phone call. Okay. I to mention that there's a lot of action in the city tonight. I've uploaded the race By the way, you forgot to mention that there's a lot. Of, oh, it sent me a message saying the same thing you're telling me on the phone. Okay. So at this point, we can just start racing, right? There's nothing else in particular we got to do. What's this uh, blue circle? Is this a some sort of race or something? Some sort of event? Up. Street X. What is up with your boy? Always fronting like you do. Put your bank where your mouth is and get in on this freaky Street X. You want to roll up on it or what? <laughs> Lord. Does the PS2 controller not have triggers? It doesn't. They are pressure sensitive. Um, but they're not, like, actual triggers that pull do down. They're just pressure-sensitive buttons. So you can do, like, gentle acceleration, but you have to do it with with just a button. It's, it's kind of hard to do, in my opinion, but it is possible. Um, and then after the PS2, they stopped doing pressure sensitivity. But forgot how cringy the dialogue was. Yeah, a lot of this game, I think, is going to end up being cringe, but it's Yo, fun here. from a playing yeah, standpoint. <laughs> Just basically telling us to wreck the other dudes as much as possible. <laughs> like, just win no matter what it takes. Because <laughs> the inner lane is where you want to be. Okay, yeah, we. I think we had enough of that, <laughs> that little cutscene there. <laughs> See, guys, you're supposed to crash. You're supposed to run into other cars and stuff. That's what the game wants. It's not simulating any of the damage or anything like that. No. You just gotta, you gotta run them off the road, man. <laughs> y'all over here acting like I'm being a bad driver. So I was practicing for the race. That's all. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, let's see how bad this is. At least like all of the other cars seem to be, you know, lower level cars like, like us. So that's helpful. Oh, Lord. Well, two of them already wrecked back there, so that's good. Give us a nice little head start. 
Okay. Actually, you know what? This isn't too bad. How many laps do we have? Four. Got it. If we could take that turn a little bit sharper, that would be nice. I could slow down a little bit, or I could try to uh, learn to drift in this game. But as soon as I start trying to drift, I feel like that's where I just get screwed. Oh, wait, no. It's not four laps. It's four people. Three laps. Okay, I, I totally misread that. Ah, oh, look at that, man. We are definitely going to win our first race. We're at too easy. Look at that. What do we get? Like a million bucks or something? 53.2? That's got to be a world record right there. <laughs> a bunch of stats or whatever. That's fine. Whatever. It's... Reputation points one, 200. Bank one, 250. A whole 250, man. 20 bucks? I mean, you know, you're pretty close. <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't see any point of restarting. We'll return to Explorer mode. 250. What can we afford with that? Can we get, like, a, a new muffler? <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow, Kane. Is there something that you would prefer to be called instead of Kane? Dem Canes? After adding performance part to your car, take it out on the test track to tune its performance. Oh, yeah, yeah. The thing that we were trying to do but couldn't because, you know, we're 100% stock. And apparently it's impossible to stalk a tune cart. <laughs> it's, you would think there would be some options, you know? From a gameplay uh, standpoint, though, I guess it makes sense to unlock those as you go along. <laughs> call me whatever you want, just don't call me late for dinner. You got it, man. Okay. You build your reputation by destroying your opponents. Margin of victory is as important as winning. Margin of victory is as important as winning, okay. I'm in the know when it comes to all the tuner gear coming and going in Bayview. If a shop's got something prime and worth looking at, I'll hit you on your SMS and let you in on it. The stuff usually goes fast, so pay attention to your message alert. Okay, so basically there will be like special sales or whatever, and we have to hurry up and get them, is what it's telling us. That's that's cool. Alright, so purple are circuits, blue are drag races yellow are drifts which i always had fun with as a kid but like i said i don't feel i'm particularly strong at those and greens are sprints and then we got performance shop car lot and garage um we can pick one to to go to it in particular right like if i wanted to try out a uh i don't know let's try out a sprint engage gps yeah there we go that's cool normally i prefer not to have gps in video games to be honest with you but for a game all about driving i might it might not be so bad like i like having the map but the the gps just turn by turn directions makes it harder at least for me and i feel for a lot of people honestly to memorize the world to to learn to use landmarks to find where you're going and where you're at and all that stuff um i wasn't trying to do a power slide there but we did <laughs> but since the, the whole point of this game is just oh we passed it it's just, you know, driving. It's probably not that bad. Okay, so a sprint, I'm assuming, is just a, a race without laps, right? It's been a while, but I think that's what we're doing here. What's up, hot shot? <laughs> God, I hate it. I, I hate it so much. It's so cringe. Uh, you've heard some good things about me. Why don't you throw down some bills and back it up? Ain't no way I'm giving you any respect. You show me some skills. Race point A to B. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, the roads are better now, Nate? That's good to hear, man. I don't plan on going anywhere anyways, but we had a bit of a snowstorm around here. All right, racing A to B. Is it one-on-one -on -one or is it a group of people? I feel like it's probably going to be another group. Yeah, it is. Feel dumb for thinking this was cool when you were young? I mean, the game is cool from, like, it's fun to play, but yeah, no, it is a little bit cringe. I felt the same way, though, you know? Like, I thought all this uh, stuff was really cool growing up, but yeah, it's it's pretty cringe. <laughs> but again, the racing part feels really good, actually. Um, and the all of the upgrades and being able to customize the look of your car and all that, like all of that is really is still really fun. Like it still really holds up. So the game is still good, but yeah, <laughs> the the underground culture that they're uh, trying to channel here is just hmm ah yes the sex symbol lady that starts 
Every race, you hated that. <laughs> I, yep. Every every game or every sport that uh that caters to to males have to have. Oh god, that's what I get for trying to <laughs> for trying to read chat. <laughs> we're going off road, guys. <laughs> Luckily, we got far enough ahead that I think we're gonna be okay. But that could have been really bad. Oh no. But it, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, every every game or sport that caters to the male fantasy has to have the the sex symbol, the lady, there to start off your round. You know, boxing, UFC, any sort of fight, really. I mean, even wrestling to a certain degree, right? With all of the the women in scantily clad outfits fighting in the the ring, and then yes, street racing as well. <laughs> I'm really not trying to power slide. It's just. It's really easy to start fishtailing. The roads are a little slick, man. Oh, get out of the way, car. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we're in second place now. Lots of oversteer. Yeah, feels like it. I imagine once we get the ability to, uh, to tune, we could kind of take that down a little bit if we wanted to. But then at the same time... Once we get into the drifting, that probably wouldn't be such a bad thing. Of course, once I get used to the car as well, we could probably uh, learn to to compensate for that, right? I'm just trying to focus. I don't want to wreck right before the end of the race here. <laughs> I'd feel so dumb. Oh, no. Okay, well, I mean, we wrecked into the wall, but I think we're going to be okay. Thank God there's no actual, like, damage calculations or anything, because we'd be screwed. <laughs> Need to compensate for something? Look. <laughs> no comment. One by two seconds. That doesn't feel that bad for our second race ever. Reputation one, another 100, another 250 bucks as well. We'll take it, man. I guess we could retry for, like, better win times to get more street cred or whatever, but got him. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I, I'm not that worried about it. We might have to come back and play more of this game. Because it's actually, it's really fun as far as like the racing and whatnot goes. I'm going to put it on the list of games I think that I'm going to try to complete on stream. Because as, as cringe as the dialogue and everything was, or is, it's a lot of fun to play, man. Like, the racing just feels really good. But as long as you get first place, that's all that matters. That's all I really care about, too. At least right now. If I was trying to, like, 100% complete every single thing in the game or something, then maybe I'd feel different. But nah. <laughs> 250 or 300 was the max reputation you could get in a race. Like, throughout the entire thing or just in the beginning? It's been so long, I don't remember. Give your ride that extra touch of style with all new window tints. Now available at the Bayview Car Specialty Shops. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I guess you get extra points for for how your car looks, right? I was going to say, like, I mean, I don't really care about window tint. What's that going to do for me? But I, I guess technically it would do something for us. Let's try, uh, I mean, we're closer to this circuit race, it looks like. So we'll do that one, I guess. And then maybe we'll try the, the drag and then save the drifting for last, because I think that's the one I'm going to struggle with the most. Oh, apparently we're here. Where is it? Ah, there it is. That was even closer than I thought it was. Car, in, cr car appearance increases your level to get more stuff eventually, yeah. That makes sense. Step right up, bro. Always room for losers. <laughs> hey, chat, they got room for y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you all. This is different from the sticks. As soon as you put your bank down, you get the course map. You Now you in or what? Boo. <laughs> oh, no. Megalo Parts is the discount parts superstore. Level 1 and level 2 performance parts are available here. Even though performance parts are available at other places, I didn't finish reading the message. So this is just the regular race, yeah? Yeah. Regular circuit race. Uh, bruh, watch the paint. Why are you just, like, all up on me, man? Back up. Just because my car's faster than yours doesn't mean you gotta be rubbing all up on me, man. I don't even know you like that. Like, 
and they did a pretty good job of making you feel like you're going fast. I know y'all are saying, like, this is actually really slow for this game, but, like, you feel like you're really trucking along. Ow. <laughs> I just imagine this being, like, GTA, me flying out the windshield whenever I hit the corner of that building there. That's what this game needed, man. <laughs> it needs more explosions and bodies flying out of vehicles. That's what we're missing. That would have really made this a 10 out of 10 game. All right, nice little S bend. We got this. Okay, well. All right, the S bend didn't go so bad, but the, the other one did. You ever try a 90 degree turn at 60 miles an hour? Honestly, though, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a good point. That's a really good point. I want to take a car out on a track someday. I think that would be a lot of fun. I would be way too scared to ever do street racing of any kind, but. Take a car out on a on a controlled course. I think that'd be really cool. Or do a ride along with a with a professional driver. I think that'd be fun too. We're not really uh, following the racing line too well. I feel like, but oh, <laughs> uh, okay, losing control just a little bit. Like, the sliding feels pretty good whenever I can keep it under control, but I just got to get used to it a bit. <laughs> I didn't get to read all the other messages, but I do see that Nate said yes. <laughs> and I'm assuming that's to the ever try doing a 90 degree turn at 60. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I kind of, I figured. Nate is uh, ridiculous. I never want to ride in a car with him. Because I feel like I probably wouldn't live to see my destination. I mean, to be fair, he hasn't wrecked yet that I know of, but still, <laughs> I say yet for a reason. I feel like it's only a matter of time, Nate. Uh, okay, nope. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Just bounce off the wall. That'll get you where you need to go. Sliding around doing S's at 70. In a real car, you would be shitting your pants. Yeah. Yeah, I would. That's for real. <laughs> I mean, maybe some people like Nate are perfectly fine doing that every day, but uh, I speed a little bit when I drive, but I'm not doing, you know, 90 in, on city streets. Like, <laughs> I'm not that insane. Don't do that much anymore. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have done that ever, but I mean, <laughs> it's good. It's good to hear that you're not doing it that much. <laughs> 90 degree at 40 is about all I could do. I honestly don't even know the fastest I've ever taken a 90. Probably not even 40, but <laughs> you almost sacked it. Oh no, <laughs> that's a little bit better. One by what? Six seconds? Yeah, almost seven. 200 reputation points. Look at that, man. We're gonna work our way to the top in no time. You had to get the perfect line, too. <laughs> oh, man. Saving, saving. Come on, game. Let's go. I'm itching for another race already. So it's a really fun. Just, just the racing mechanics are really fun. They're really good. They tuned it really well. I really like... We played Gran Turismo 3A spec the other day. And I really like that game, too. It's just so slow, like, getting into and getting built up with the with the cars and everything like that. Like, that's the, the thing about Need for Speed. It just gets you right into the action. And while, obviously, the arcade driving it isn't as realistic, it's still a ton of fun. All right, so drag race next, and then we'll uh, get our asses handed to us in the, uh, the drift to last, because <laughs> I don't think that's going to go so well. I wish they still made games, the Need for Speed games like this, you know? I remember the last one I personally played was, uh, I think it was Hot Pursuit. And I had fun with it, but it was never as good as, as Underground. Like, not even close, man. Wait, what is, why was the GPS telling me to go left? It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, this is the drag. Hey, Seed? Hey, Seed? I don't know what that means. What's up? <laughs> Roll your tractor up to the start line and peel off some lettuce so we can get this run started. Come on, man.
times wasted. Peel off some lettuce, guys. That's what I'm going to say from now on every time I need some money from someone. Just, hey, can you peel me off some lettuce? <laughs> I ate it. I ate everything. They did a 2015 reboot that was close to this one. I have to check that out sometime. So 2015, that was probably what, like pl uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One? Hey, yo, man. Street drag is the influence behind everything we got. Check it like this. The <laughs> what are these messages for real, man? The competition. Okay, so we gotta balance our 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 RPMs. That could be hard with a PlayStation 2 X button, but we'll try. Oh, and there's no auto transmission. Newer Need for Speed games just aren't as good. I the ones I've played, I agree with, but. There's a lot of them I haven't played, though, too, so. Got your Whopper Jr.? Very nice, man. We got some Burger King coupons in the mail the other day. Mr. Noodle was showing them to me this morning. I think I had her throw them away, but y'all are making me want <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> we already got dinner plans for tonight, but maybe, like, tomorrow on my lunch break or something. If, uh, if I can dig out those coupons. Lord knows I ain't paying full price for anything. <laughs> okay let's see how bad we get our ass kicked here wendy's ah oh, i love me some wendy's too don't get me wrong that's what i usually get but oh that was a perfect okay uh short shift that's i mean hey it could have been worse short shift again okay does it like give us some sort of indicator short shift how 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 high up do we want to be whenever we shift i should have paid a little bit more attention there it goes okay it, it does tell oh no there's a car there crap <laughs> is there a restart we're gonna restart <laughs> it's mad because i just got that i got the perfect start but i was paying so much attention to the to the rpms on the <laughs> on the left that i completely missed uh i completely missed the car that was right in front of me Okay, that was a little a little off, but that's all right. We, we got it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, you oversteer like a mother. And <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. That was short again, but you know what? It, it doesn't really matter. This is not straight enough to be a drag. It, wait, does it automatically, like... I feel like it automatically straightens us back out, actually. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay. Hey, we won! Okay, that wasn't all that bad. That wasn't all that bad. The needle turns green for perfect. I, I saw it. I did get one or two perfects, but yeah. You were talking about veggies, and I was like, I kind of want a Whopper. Did no tomato, and Wendy's usually your go-to, but you used to work for the BK here. Yeah. I, I, I really like both. I think the Whopper is like my favorite sandwich, personally. But I really really like wendy's burgers just in general i feel like overall wendy's has the better food but there's something about the whopper that i just really love but when you hit the stick it shifts your lane okay okay that's why the steering felt so weird not just like turns i gotcha so in drag races we only really have to worry about shifting lanes to avoid other people not so much like steering around the turns and shit like that that makes sense oh you work at wendy's i almost missed that one king we were just talking about fast food and working earlier today. Oh, I've done my time. I was at a uh, McDonald's for a while, so I feel it. Kind of, it's called the broiler. It's basically an enclosed grill. Hey, another 200 reputation points. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Yeah, we see grill on a flat top. Yeah, McDonald's, They uh, we had a grill, which was a flat top, and then we also had the clamshell grill. Which was a uh, a double sided grill, so like it had a heating element on top and bottom, and you would just put your burger patties in and then close the whole thing on top of it. That's how they made the uh, burger so quickly there by just smashing them, <laughs> sandwiching them in heat, basically like a giant George Foreman grill. 
that sort of thing. <laughs> Your meat is fresh and never frozen. And that's probably why I like the meat so much better at Wendy's, to be honest with you. Like I said, I, I think their food generally is better. And they have the best fries by far. And nobody tops Wendy's fries, man. They're so good. They're the only French fries I can eat not drenched in ketchup. Hear that? Make your ride stand out from the crowd with our all-new exhaust tips. What? Now we can get some tint and exhaust tips? Hell yeah. Let's go. What does select do? Oh, it, like, respawns us on the closest real road. Does that cost us anything? No. Okay. I guess we're gonna try the drift. See how bad we get our ass kicked, man. We literally line them up, push them in, then they get grilled and dispensed fries. So, I, I don't know what you guys are doing to the fries, but they're like crack to me, man. <laughs> really good stuff. Bank reward 50. Oh, so we can just find random money laying around. That's cool. I mean, hey, I'm not going to say no to free money. Hey, Popeye's fries are pretty good. I've never eaten at a Popeye's before. Um, I'm sure I will someday. But they, if I'm not mistaken, sell shellfish, crab, or not crab, uh, shrimp specifically. I have a uh, shellfish allergy that I need to get rechecked because I haven't been checked since I was a child. Um, but yeah, so I, I tend to avoid places that sell shellfish. You can do whatever exhaust you want. It's still going to sound like a lawnmower. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh... This is uh, my kind of lawnmower right here, man. You know, growing up, speaking of, like, speeding, uh, I used to mow my lawn for my grandpa and great-grandpa, and my great-grandpa had a riding lawnmower that I would get to use to, to do the mowing with, and I would just put it in the highest gear and then just freaking fly around as fast as I could mowing the lawn, and he would always yell at me saying that uh, I wasn't given the blade enough time to cut the grass and I need to slow down. But like, I didn't want to do it, obviously. Like, I didn't have fun doing it. I just did it to help them out and, because, you know, chores as a kid. Um, so I just did it the fastest way possible. I mean, just put it on high gear and freaking go, man. Only fries you've had you like more are their fries you had from a little diner about an hour from here. I need to try a couple more little diners. I know there was one diner that everybody loved around here uh, where I live that I just did not like, but a lot of people did for some reason. I, I, I don't know. Popeyes was kind of overrated to me. You expect more spice on the chicken. Nice came. I, uh, what are they called? The That other place. I don't like them from like what they do standpoint, but their food's really good. Uh, Chick-fil-A. I like their chicken and like their chicken sandwiches are really good. I just wish they weren't dicks. <laughs> you look like well not the the workers the workers are usually really nice but corporate but then again what corporate entity isn't massive assholes so you know there's that you look like a nice kid why don't you run along home and return your mama's car <laughs> oh no uh if you still want to race you best be prepared to get grounded for losing mom's wheels you're a call dog just don't make me wait all night not my mom's car oof as a member of the lgbtq you agree with that yeah that's that's my problem with it like the food is good don't get me wrong but dude bruh like why <laughs> just don't be assholes to other people that's all you got to do it's that easy but apparently that's too hard for some people this is a uh, this is a whole thing they're doing here eh? What are we, are we racing around like a high security area or something like that? Yo, but the drift is all about style and control. I don't think I really like their sauce, if I remember correctly. I think it's too sweet. I usually just get the ketchup. Their, their ranch that they have is pretty good. Make sure you don't go crazy with the brakes. Because the faster you go, combined with the more slides you hit, the higher your score is So we want to get points by sliding and going fast. This multiplier will affect the score of your next drift, so make okay. sure it's high. And we can get multipliers if we get a bunch of high levels or high points. Drifts into one another. Mesh your drifts into one long seamless slide, and the scoreboard will light up something hard. Now, if you think you're wired tight, it's time to go B-I-G big. Try hanging your rubber into the shoulder for bonus points. The more tires you slide through the lanes, the faster you wrap okay. up that score. So if we keep in the lane, we get more points. If we hit the wall, we lose all the points. 
let's get down to some business. And I'm gonna screw this up so bad, but we'll try. Here you have a sweet tooth, now you're hungry again. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh I like I've mentioned earlier in the stream, I do like sweets. I, I really like chocolate. Um there's some pies that I absolutely love and uh certain donuts and things like that, but like I try not to eat too much sweets though, and I don't mix my sweet and savory food usually. Um, like when I'm eating some savory like chicken, I usually just want it to be savory, not sweet. As a fellow member of the LGBTQ community, they are a company and they're allowed to stand for whatever they want. Other companies do. You can spend your money where you want. Yeah, I mean, and that's, yeah, you're, you're completely right, obviously. It just sucks. I, I wish they were a little less shitty, that's all. <laughs> like, because I, I would spend more money there. I'd feel more comfortable spending money there as well if they weren't just terrible about what they do. I think I'm maybe pressing the, the, the brakes a little too long. Maybe I need to build up a little bit more speed as well. Oh, okay, so that's some points. We're in second place. I need to figure out how to hold the drift longer. Second. Okay, I mean, second's not terrible, but we're going to try again. We're going to go for first. I think the, the thing that really let me down was trying to drift a little bit too early. Need to build up a little bit more speed before I uh, started trying to do the drifts. Rob just dominated everybody. Like, me and Rob are 10,000 plus, and then Neil and Jason got, like, nothing, man. What the hell? It's not that you have an issue with their stance. It's more so that they've actually hurt the LGBTQ and fun people who support things. like. And that's, yeah, exactly. Like, if they... Well, let's not get into it. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. That's how I feel, real. Uh, can you uh, use the handbrake? I was using the handbrake. Oh, I didn't mean to... I meant to retry. Not go to explorer mode. I was mashing the X button to get through the menu. <laughs> Stupid. That was dumb. I shouldn't have done it. I'm actually kind of mad with myself. So we were so close to first place, too. We probably could have got it next time. On the next try, but no. Uh, I'm mad. Wait, can I do it again since I didn't get first place? You look like a nice kid. Wait. Oh, whatever. We'll try it again. <laughs> it's letting me do it, so we'll do it again. I'm guessing because we didn't get first place, it, it's given us a chance to redo it. Because all the other ones, once we finish it, they disappeared off the map, right? I'm not crazy. It was a diner that was attached to a little shop and had one fry kick and was best dang chicken and fries you had. Yay, retry. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Definitely gonna retry. We gotta we gotta get the first. I want the first place. Try not to hit the, the nice lady there waving the flag though. Alright. So we just wanna we just wanna tap it for a second and get it going. And then Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Not too bad, but we need we need to get those multipliers going though. That's how we're we're really gonna get the points coming in. It's like all these point totals are just way too low. We gotta... Oh, wait. If we have tires on the outside, we get more points. That's right. I was trying to keep to the inside, but we want to actually have tires go on the outside. Just not hit the wall. Because if we hit the wall, we we lose points. I, I got it. I got it. There we go. That's That was the one thing that I needed to do. <laughs> that was the one thing. I need to... I need to, uh, uh, I was trying to stay on the, the middle of the racetrack when really we were supposed to be trying to get as close to the outside as possible. Also, what the hell, Rob? You got over 10,000 points last time whenever I did, but now, like, 3,000? I'm disappointed, Rob. Honestly, I thought you were better than that. <laughs> Is she a nice lady, though? Is she really? She may have another story and we may need to hit her. <laughs> Damn, Rue. <Rue. laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> God, y'all are the worst. You have to get first place to advance. Okay, Avalon. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, I wanted to either way. I just misclicked. Instead of hitting retry, hit freaking continue. Hey, 
Yeah. He's literally in a focus, the same car your grandma drives, and he's trashing us. Yeah. Underground racing league I told you about. No traffic, no streets, just pure driving. All of it takes place on a controlled private course. Now, since you've set up shop with me, I'm gonna act as your agent. I'll take okay. a cut off the top in return for letting of course you know it's worth looking at. Gotta get your money. I feel it. Can I just be my own agent though? Like honestly, these races seem pretty easy to find. They're all over this damn town. She's pretty. I mean, yeah, she is pretty. But, like, pretty enough to take half my money from my races? I don't know. I don't know about that one. What's with the flyover of the city? Okay, that was just for... <laughs> just because, I guess. <laughs> How much time do we have left tonight? Oof, we only got about 15-ish minutes left. We might go a little bit longer than I normally would. Just because I'm having fun with this game. Oh, I unlocked the next part of the city. Okay, I didn't realize it was like uh, locked down to, to individual sections. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game. I don't remember a lot about it. Dude, the scanner chatter says the roads to Beacon Hill are now open. You guarantee the racing in the area is going to be hopping. You might want to head up there and try your luck. Okay. Probably going to head off here and get some food since we all made you hungry. <laughs> Later, Root. Thank you for being here, man. Hope to see you again in uh, a couple days with whatever we're playing. I haven't decided what we're going to be playing next yet. Probably just be another random game. Again, to be honest with you. We got, if I pull up my list here. Uh, I've looked earlier, but I've already forgotten. We have, just out of the games I currently own, another... 65 <laughs> still to play just to try out so yeah probably just do another random game but on sundays uh for every, anybody who's just joining which it seems like we've had a couple new people come in today on sundays is the day that i spend trying to complete a game the reason we're playing need for speed today uh just for a little bit just to try it out is because i finished the lord of the rings the third age earlier which was the last game i was trying to complete on the ps2 I, uh, the next game, it's not a PS2 game, but it's just one that I really wanted to play. It's a Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on the PS5. And we're going to be trying to complete that. And then once we complete that, we'll be coming back to a PS2 game. And, uh, everybody can help me decide at that point what PS2 game we want to complete. Um, a lot of people are wanting to do God of War. I kind of want to do Kingdom Hearts. There's a lot of different options, but yeah. Uh, we need to go into the GPS, not into the options. What do we want to do? We can do the Street X, but I feel like probably getting a little bit more experience would be good. You know, honestly, the drag race was pretty fun. Let's try out the drag race. Let's do it. Oh, okay, we're going wrong direction. Turn around. Uh, not in that lane. We're in America, we drive on the right lane. I wonder, whenever they ported this game to, like, Europe and whatnot, did they leave the right lane driving? I imagine they probably did, but... I wonder if that was, uh... Like, if that took any getting used to for... For people who drive in the left lane, usually. I know I would get confused. Of course, in this game, I guess it doesn't really matter all that much anyways, because, you know, you're just... Oh, oh... You know, you're street racing, you're dodging cars left and right either way. So who cares if you're in the right lane, really? Need to take the little side street here. Gotta get on that exit, man. Or I guess it's more of an on-ramp, isn't it? Is this modeled after a real city? I don't know that either. Or is this, like, completely made up just for... Oh, no. See, this is why I hate driving and cities like look at look at this intersection <laughs> or this this uh oh whatever the hell you call this with all of the the highways crossing over an exchange oh that's <laughs> there's too many options there the gps is not being very clear which way i need to go okay well he kind of helped me make that turn he also kind of sucks there we are uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was getting ready to, like, smash through the glass. I was like, wait, do we have to go in the building? 
That doesn't seem right. I hear they call you the 14 second man because that's how long it takes to get that heap to get out of first gear. I was thinking that was going somewhere else. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we don't play like that here. And by the time you realize what happened, we'll be partying at the finish line. I mean, I destroyed the last person I played, man. I, I raced against, I mean. You might be eating those words, Lee. Or not. I mean, I could do horribly, but <laughs> we'll see, I guess. I think whenever I played this game before, I was probably playing with one of my cousins. Because I remember having, like, Nitrous and whatnot already unlocked. So I'm thinking maybe I was playing on one of his saves? Question mark? It's hard to keep track of the, the games that I owned, that he owned, that we would play together and all that. Okay. Alright, good start. Not great. Alright, that was a, an overshift. I uh, was pressing the wrong button. I tried to hit R1 to shift. Uh, sh change lane. Good shift, not perfect. Okay. Uh, I might be eating my words. I don't know if we're going to win this one. Uh, apparently that was a short shift. I thought we were in the blue at least. Oh no, stay in the left lane. Oh, that got scary for a moment. Man, these guys are like up there. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to catch up. Losing all that power. <laughs> oh, what happened? All I did was shift lanes. <laughs> Finish third. No, no, we're not. We're not taking that. A nice piece of humble pie. You're not kidding, man. Holy crap. We might need to get some uh, extra performance uh, <laughs> options going before we can just dominate like we did earlier on. Over rev. Eh. I mean, not not amazing. Nice. Okay, so far so good. Was that an over rev? It was. I thought it was a good shift. I wish I could see a little bit more clearly. Uh, ooh. Oh, sh shoo. <laughs> I like the whole slow motion with the wreck there. Okay. Yep. Restarting that again. We'll try this one more time before we just accept our fate as uh, as losers. <laughs> oh, okay. So we don't want to go into the oncoming traffic lane because apparently um, that is a great way to get totaled. Is that an over? It was an over. It went so fast from green to red. Screw it. Just take a good shift. It's better than over revving or under or short shifting, I guess they call it. Eh? Don't y'all know there's a race going on here? Get off the damn road. Car is like losing control on its own. Like I'm not steering. It's steering itself and he's still fishtailing every now and then. That's crazy. I wish I could see a little farther. Oh, wait, we won. Oh, I thought there was more to it. Nice. Okay. So all we got to do is not screw up and we can still win. <laughs> it's just a little bit harder. It's not not that bad. We just got to get good. All right, we didn't win by that much, though. Only a couple seconds. But hell yeah. Wait, we get a sponsor now? Hey, dude, I just sorted through the last stack of contracts. Okay. A lot of sponsors want to sign you up for the Underground Racing League. So okay. The best of the best for you. Just let me know who you want to sign with. So we got contract completed after winning three URL races, three races of sponsor's choice, and nine additional races of driver's choice. So we have to take three of their races. Um, there are other options. Okay. Driver must win three URL races, three of their choice, nine of our choice. So these are all the same, aren't they? Nine additional victories. So these ones are just races. These ones, or this one, we have to get victories, though. Okay. Driver must win the following races. So in this one, we have to win all of them. 
but for 1450. I mean, we plan on winning all of them anyways, right? Sponsor race purse? Oh, so that's how much money we win if we win all of the other races, I'm guessing. One circuit race, one sprint, and one street X race. Yeah, dude, we'll take Toyo. Toyo? Whatever it is. Sign it. Let's go. So hopefully with the sign-on bonus and everything, we might be able to do a quick upgrade. We'll have to stop by one of the shops real quick and see what options we got. I think uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to stop by a shop, see what upgrade we got, and then give it a try on a track real quick before we wrap things up. The car specialty shop can really make your ride stand out in a crowd. Come here to add hydraulics, neon, audio, spinners, and much, much more to your car. Very cool. The only difference is the type of races they want you to race and the signing bonus versus race win. Yeah, so really it seems like it's best to just go for whoever's going to pay you the most overall, right? Like it doesn't hey, seem like you need to put that much thought up. into it, unless now I'm missing something. Okay, so it marks them on the map for us. The ones with the X are ones we got to do. That's that's perfectly fine. Uh, okay, so we want to go to performance shop, right, to buy new parts. I'll talk to you later. Could you imagine if they did have damage calculations and then you had to like pay to fix your car every time you hit another car or road or something like that? Like I just totaled my car in that drag race, man. I I don't know how much one of these cars cost, but I imagine it's more than what I've won in races so far. <laughs> You know, winning three hundred uh, dollars a race isn't gonna buy you a new car for quite a while, <laughs> unless uh, it's a really shitty car. Why is that that uh, taxi there just sideways in the middle of the road? Either his AI broke, or other people can get into wrecks too. <laughs> oh, you know what? I see one of my uh, enemy racers in front of me. Maybe he did something. Like maybe he hit him or something like that caused him to go sideways. That would make sense. That's the only thing I can think of that would make sense, at least. Okay, I think our turn's coming up, right? Yep. Ah, don't hit the median. Just hit, you know, <laughs> the car and the median instead. That, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> oh, stupid. Oh, wait, was I supposed to go up in there? I think I was supposed to go up in there. Okay, turn around. Those lights are super blue on the uh, that business or whatever that was over there. Oh, wait, no. Uh, hello? Oh, no, that's making me nauseous. Oh, let's not do that again. I think I'm just dumb. I missed it, didn't I? Wait, it's over here where all these blue-ass lights are, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't see the blue stuff over here because of all the <laughs> the blue lights out front. Maybe the blue lights out front were trying to tell us, hey, this is where you <laughs> the blue is. Mega Law Parts, your performance parts, Superstore. Cool. What you got for me, bud? Hey, you found it. Well, now you know where Mega Law... Hey, swap out stock parts with aftermarket. Oh, okay. These parts aren't as uh aren't as expensive as I thought, maybe. Individual parts or you can get whole packages. Pro packages and stuff are still locked, it looks like. Okay. Um what are the other options? Engine Upgrade ECU. The of your ride by also has the street package. So it's probably better just to get that. I mean it's a twenty percent discount. Why wouldn't you get that, right? Holy crap, that increases the top speed. That, that's a huge bump, man. For how much does that cost? 680? That's... Wow, okay. Now, transmission is where you lose most of your power. So any upgrade will help you get more ponies to the black. Harden your suspension. Suspension for handling. Our handling is already pretty decent, though. Um, I mean, more is always better. The race world. Rack it under your hood to give your ride that extra power when you need it. Okay. Tires are locked. Brakes are locked. Everything else is locked. And then we got Dymo. Okay, so, uh, I mean, look, ECU seems like just a, an obvious choice, so yeah, we'll get that. Oh, wait, what? You could get a pick the, <laughs> the, the, the brand, really? 
Well, then we'll just do Need for Speed Underground 2. Is that an option for everybody? No, it's not. Okay. We'll do, uh, I don't know. Arrow Speed. That sounds cool. All right, so that, that greatly increased our max speed. That's cool. And then the engine, that's just a little bump to everything. It does increase our acceleration a bit, which would be nice, but it's also expensive as hell. What was the transmission? That would be acceleration too, right? Yeah, but not a whole lot. Ah, screw it. We got, we got a fair amount of money. Let's get it. Skunk? Definitely getting skunk. Skunk 2, man. Skunk 2 and new speed. <laughs> <laughs> all right and then can we so we can't do customization here like uh looks wise so maybe we'll stop by the garage to do that it's the only other place i can think of to stop and do that sort of thing right wonder if the bot's working yet probably not That's a big nope. <laughs> okay. Sponsorships are your entry into the underground racing league. The URL is an invitation only league. Yeah, we kind of know all that. It's at a shop close to the garage. Okay. Hopefully it'll come up on the map then. Come on, game. There you go. Crashing foreign cars. <laughs> and also that, <laughs> that garage door just kind of closed on us. So the car lot's over there. Performance shop garage. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anywhere else on here, right? Beacon Hill, full map, city core. Right, we'll stop by the garage and see if that's it. If not, then we'll just go to the next race. Whatever that is. There's a performance shop in Beacon Hills West located near the Burger King. <laughs> Speaking of Burger King... Look for the blue lights leading to the entrance. It's on the road northeast of the garage. Uh, full map. So it's not where the garage is itself. But on a road northeast of there? Or do you mean northeast of the performance parts here? Is that what you're talking about? So like the... Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm missing. I'm sure I'm missing something, but I'm not seeing it. Curvy Road, northeast of the garage. So it's not on the map at all? Like, uh, I wish I had like a pointer or something. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. We're going to head over to the garage area. And uh, if I see it, is it that little like green X looking thing? No, that's just a required race. You have to discover it first. Oh, OK, well, we'll go over that way and I'll drive around a little bit. And if we don't find it like fairly quickly, then we'll just do a race because I don't want to spend all day searching for it. Um, Although, I mean, cosmetics are a relatively large part of this game. It's not something I'm that worried about at the moment. Though it would be cool to, you know, pimp our ride. <laughs> hey, speak of Burger King. There you go. There's a Burger King. What's up, money? Yo, you got any details of rumors of racing at the stadium? I hear it's a bunch of punks with more bags than brains. Yo, should be eating pickets. If you're near, man, check it out. Let me know what the deal is. Peace. Okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> nope, that didn't happen. Nobody saw that. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was looking down at the map, and then all of a sudden I looked up, and there's just a car in front of me. Can we total the, uh, the enemy racers? I don't know if that'd be, like, actually do anything for us, but... Okay, so... Northeast. So this is the garage... So, this is southeast. So, we'll... That's the highway, though. Hmm. If we go over here and then turn left, that's just going to take us to the highway, right? 
because now we're going directly east. Turn around. Okay. Turning around. Going back to the garage. Now we're heading northwest. Drive past the garage and turn right at the first road. Okay. We can do that. So right here somewhere. All right, this little side street here. This where we want to be. Ah, here we go. Welcome to the Bayview Body Shop, Fort Union Store. Thank you, Avalon. Let's see, what are we going to get? Hopefully we can get some sort of paint job or something. Style to your ride with these special side skirts, spoilers, hoods, roof, headlights. We can change our headlights, taillights, exhaust tips, rim. We can get carbon fiber kits. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so it looks like no paint, sadly. Maybe we can do that at the garage. But So they all give the same visual rating, so we can actually pick whatever our favorite is. That's nice. I'm glad it's not... Uh, like in RPGs, for instance, you kind of have to pick whatever the best is or be at a disadvantage. I kind of like the Sniper, but I also really like the Rohan. I think I want to take that one. Yeah, we'll purchase that. What we got for rear bumpers? Is it the same? It is the same, so we might as well pick the one that matches. Be kind of... Honestly, though, I mean, it wouldn't look that bad if we mix and match, would it? But now let's just go for the same. Keep it consistent. Side skirts. Same thing. Same thing. Then what do we got? We got 770 left. Can we buy new headlights? Eyelids. Lunar. Topaz. The Look, the Topaz looks weird as hell, so I think I'm going to take that just because it looks freaking weird. What is that? Oh, man. I hope nobody has... What's it called? Is it tryptophobia or whatever? The fear of small holes? Because, like, that is... Wow. That is weird as hell. Yep. We're going to buy it. <laughs> Tail lights. We got... So, I mean, that, okay, a little bit different, I guess. Reaper, Sport Glow, kind of, I think I like the Reaper. Street Ray is nice. Yeah, you know what, actually, I like the Street Ray. We're going to go with that one. And then Exhaust Tips, Backlash, Livia, Ace. Uh, I mean, I don't know, let's just, let's get the big ones. Why not? Ace, go for it. Get some rims, man. Are they going to update? Paint shop is in the middle of the city, so it's a whole nother shop. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, why aren't they updating? Oh, they're all locked. Well, no, no, they're not all locked. This one's not. BBS isn't locked. Oh, these are all manufacturers. Oh, shoot. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Uh, okay, so we got, like, stars. Nah, not really that into any of them. You're locked. BBS. Hmm, RW2. Or LM. LM's kind of my favorite so far, I think. The VZ is kind of neat. It looks almost like the uh, radioactive symbol or something. Uh, nah. Need for Speed Underground 2. So one's made specifically for this. Yeah, dude. Actually, I kind of like the six shooter. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm not going to spend all day picking rims. We're, I think we're going to go with the six shooter just because it looked pretty neat. And it's uh, something a little, little different. Oh, geez. Okay, we can pick our tires size too. I like the big ones with the low profile tires. I think that looks cooler. There we go. And that leaves us with, what, 20 bucks? So... <laughs> Not really enough money to uh, to get a paint job now. I would have liked to get like a nice uh, black and purple paint scheme going or something like that, but no money left. We be broke. I like the way you do that right there. Oh my lord. Music. It gets stuck in my head so easily. Oh, shoot.
I didn't realize an auto ad was running. I didn't realize it had been that long since I ran an ad, man. I got into the game and just completely forgot to do anything else. Oops. <laughs> if you look near the center of the city there, you will see a big circle on the road. It's there. Hey, dude, listen up. As part of that sponsor... Part of that sponsorship, you got to do something. Okay. Okay, I see the circle. So we want to head... I wish we could put, like, a custom GPS point on the map. I mean, we'll find the paint shop eventually. We don't have any money for it right now anyways, but I'll try to remember that for whenever we play the game again. Okay. One star car? We're pretty close, aren't we? I'll call you later. Is there a way to check that? Like what? Oh, Jesus, no. I thought there was a way. Oh. Jump to garage, options. Ah, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, we're just going to go do a race because I'm not sure where, where or how to check that. All right, what race do we want to do, though? That's the real question. We, I mean, we probably should do one of the ones that we have to do for our thing, right? Um, kind of want to do a, uh, oh yeah, that sprint has an X on it, so we could do that one. I kind of want to do the sprint. The sprints are fun. I generally speaking prefer sprints to doing, um, circuits, just because it's kind of fun having a unique path and not having to, uh, to do the same lap like three times or whatever. I always found those a little bit more fun, like in Mario Kart and whatnot too. Oh, you know what? We are passing that big circle anyways, aren't we? So if we see a shop around here somewhere, we might as well grab it since we're coming through. We'll do a, a quick look around. I see some money. We'll definitely pick up the free money. And do a loop. Oh, that's not where the turn is. Turn's here. North side of the road, big red light. Okay. Ah, I think it's on the right side. We went left. Yep, yep, yep. I see it. Cool. All right. I mean, we're still completely broke, so we can't actually stop here for anything. Or buy anything, but we'll enter it because that should unlock it on the map, right? Now credit is built with winning. I mean, unless uh, unless it's really cheap to paint. I, I don't imagine it will be though. Total cost here. Oh wait, just changing our colors free. Never mind then. Okay. Um, I always really liked the pearlescent growing up, but we don't have that ability right now. Uh, I kind of want like. Either purple with black accent or the other way around. Black with a dark purple accent. I'm not really liking any of the purples that they have available, though. So I'm thinking black, and then we'll use, like, that as the accent color. I think that's what we'll go for. Oh, it's 200, so no, we can't, we can't afford it anyways. At least not for the base. We might be able to afford, like... Oh, you have to install... In install. <laughs> Words are hard. Aftermarket parts before you can paint them. Okay, yep, yep. Well, we can't do that then. But that's alright. At least it's on the map for the next time we come around to playing this game. We'll know where to look. I wonder if it will remember our GPS marker, like which way we were going. Or if we had to repick the race again. Enter shop slash challenge opponent. So if we get close enough to one of our rivals or whatever, can we just challenge them on the world map? That'd be pretty cool. Steal their car. Play for pink slips. Wasn't that a thing in one of the Need for Speed games? I feel like it was. Where you could either challenge people or maybe they would challenge you and winner got the other person's car. Oh, there's a wall there. Okay, yeah, it looks like it forgot our... Our GPS location. 
So which one did we pick again? We picked the sprint. Yes, you can challenge the orange arrows to outrun races. That's awesome. I like that. Most wanted was one that you could do that on. That's cool. So I don't remember most wanted really, but I mean, I hardly remember underground. And at this point, I'm not positive if it was underground one or two that I played more of. Whichever one me and my, I think me and my cousin used to play. They were on GameCube too, weren't they? The Need for Speed games? Pretty sure they were. So I feel like that's where I played one of them the most was on my GameCube. But I'm not sure. With my cousin, it probably would have been PS2. Because we played games on the GameCube, but we mostly played games on the PS2. Me and him. Step right up, bro. Always room for losers. This is different from the sticks. This is the, the same thing you said last time. Whatever your name is. Patrick. <laughs> Talk about your car's performance by adding the best upgrades from Bayview's performance shops. Purchase parts individually or in packages and kits. Gives you a discount over pa purchasing individual parts. They were on GameCube. So I thought they were. I think that's where I made a play them at. That's a hidden race. They pay more. Wait, what? Did I wait? Did I stop at the wrong? Oh, I stopped at the wrong race. Oops. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. Not gonna be upset about that, I guess. We'll still do the other one that I was planning on doing before we hop off. Because I want to advance a little bit at least. But, hey, some extra money on a hit and race? We're not going to say no. It needs to uh, give you a little boost like Mario Kart whenever you do power slides. <laughs> Just go all arcadey with it, man. You know what? Just We're going to play Mario Kart. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yep. I didn't get into that slide. I thought I had started a slide. I did not. <laughs> I started losing control of my life. It's getting too real. Um, no. <laughs> uh, okay, slide. Maybe. Nope. Okay, I think we just need to, to break like normal because <laughs> this power sliding thing is not working out too well for me. And we're doing fine the regular way. I wonder how many sponsors they took for this game. Because I just saw that uh, giant Best Buy sign over there as well. And, I mean, I doubt they would have put Best Buy in this game unless Best Buy gave them money to be in this game, you know? And then, of course, there's the singular cellular thing. So, like, they, they were definitely taking some sponsorships. With the size of the series, I doubt it was cheap, too. Like, they probably made some bank off of Best Buy and Singular. And at least for Singular, it didn't work out so well, I'm assuming, because uh, <laughs> they are basically gone, if not actually gone. Best Buy's still doing alright, as far as I know, though. I miss whenever there was, like, Circuit Cities and Radio Shacks and whatnot, man. As an uh, electronics hobbyist, it's really nice to be able to just stop at a shop and buy parts that you need or whatever, instead of having to... Uh, like, order them offline and wait for days. Mr. Noodle, I don't know what the random uh, love emoji was for, but thank you. It's very cute, if I do say so myself. <laughs> My emoji. I feel like one of the enemies is on my ass. Like, somebody sounds close. And I don't like it. Yeah, he is. I can see him on the minimap a little bit. I know one of the buttons is the rear view mirror button, but I've honestly kind of forgotten which one it is. And I don't want to risk, like, hitting the brake or losing control or something to try to see him. So I'm just going to focus on uh, making this last turn here. Ah, are you kidding me? Is there a restart? There's a restart. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on making this last turn instantly run into a wall. <laughs> Not just a wall, the corner of a wall. I... I hate my life. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That was terrible, man. <laughs> and it was a corner of the wall, too. If it had just been, like, the wall that I ran into, we probably could have recovered and still won. But we were stuck in the corner and had to reverse out of it. Like, 
actual trash, man. Hmm. That's what happens. We get too complacent. We get too comfortable with our position, thinking we're doing good. The game had to show us who was boss here, like... Uh, don't hit. I'm actually trying to focus a little bit now, because... Doing a race twice, fine. Three times, that's just shameful. Don't want none of that. That airplane looks like it's... Oh, shoot! Don't look at the airplane, look at the road! <laughs> that's... Oh, no. I was trying to say, that airplane looks like it is coming down way too fast, man. That was one hell of an angle that that airplane was coming down from. I mean, I assume he is making an approach for a landing or something, but, like, I don't know, man. He might have been going down. Okay. Everything's fine. We're still in first place by a decent margin. Like, three seconds or so. Of course, we were last time, too, and then, like, the last lap and a half, that dude just suddenly started to catch up to us. Patrick. Okay, get off the wall. What are you doing with your life, Mr. Driver, sir? Oh, something that just crossed my mind that I need to do. Like, pretty bad. I need to get a hold of the Dorseman and see when we're doing the next episode of the Just One More Level podcast. I need to uh, work on getting the last episode that we recorded put up online as well, but I'm ready to record the next one. I don't know what game he wants to cover. Maybe we'll do Need for Speed. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad one to do. We haven't covered that many, if any, racing games, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't think we have covered any racing games at all. Maybe this will be our first one. I'll just have to see if he owns it. If not, I can let him borrow my copy, I suppose. I could be a nice friend and let him use it for a little bit. <laughs> it's our last lap, right? Yeah, 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 okay. And I don't want to jinx it, but as long as we don't screw up on this last turn again... We should be good, because that dude didn't catch up to us like he did last time. There we go. GG! Race one. I got a little worried for a second. I was like, why is it not ending? I feel like it should have ended by now. Only with a two-second lead, but you know what? We'll take it. Yeah, we're still going to go do our uh, sprint race that I said I was going to do because I want to progress the story a little bit. Plus, I'm still just having a lot of fun with this game. Oh, but at the same time, I do need to stand up, like walk around. Do all the, the stuff that's good for your body, you know, that's not sitting in one place for four and a half, five hours. <laughs> Ah, oh, we gotta reactivate the GPS, that's right. Uh, sprint. Yep. Engage that GPS. That race had a lot of turns in it, so it probably wasn't the best one to test it out, but I don't feel that much faster than what we were before, even though, technically speaking, our max speed increased by a lot, right? It must be around the corner here. Uh, somewhere in here. There it is. Yep. What's up, Hotshot? Heard some good things about you. Why don't you throw down some bills and back it up? Ain't no way I'm giving you any respect to you. Show me some skills. Throw down some bills and back it up. That sounds like, uh, something that... <laughs> Look. <laughs> something to do with a stripper. That's all I'm saying. Throwing down some bills and expecting you to back it up. With the Fast and Furious movies still being as popular as there are, they are. I'm surprised there's not more street racing video games, to be honest. I mean, those are still really big movies, right? I mean, they're still making them, so they must still be making some amount of money. 
And while they seem to be less about street racing these days and more about just ridiculous action shots, <laughs> it's still like street racing's at its core. The last three to four are street racing games? Really? See, I didn't know that. Shows you how little I know about modern day Need for Speed stuff, man. I, I guess because they just haven't been received all that well. I just didn't hear much about them or anything. I mean, I certainly haven't played them either. Have they been like this style with the open world and everything like that too? Or they aren't that good? <laughs> that's uh, that's too bad. <laughs> that, that sucks, man. Is the, have you played the remaster from 2015? You were the one that brought that up, right? It might've been Kane or something, I'm not sure, but. Oh, oh, get around the bend. Okay, so far so good. Just don't lose control. We got this. Uh, I got an itch on my face. Don't hit the median. You haven't touched Need for Speed since Carvin. Okay, so yeah, it's been a little while for you then. <laughs> got it. I... So the last one I remember playing was one of the the hot pursuits or something. The, one of the ones where the cops are always chasing you and you're always running away from them. I don't remember what console it was on. I, I, I don't know, but that's like the last one I remember playing. Also, we picked the wrong road to go down. This is, this is trash. Yeah, we, we picked the wrong road to go down. We're gonna have to restart. We took the outside lane hardcore there, man. Twice. Like, there were two different times. So I gotta remember, take the left side. Anytime we come to a split in the road, take the left side. <laughs> we were way ahead the entire race, too, until we were stuck on all them outside corners. It's kind of annoying, really. I guess that's one thing about a sprint. Like, you only get one chance through it. You don't have a, a lap or two to learn to learn the track. You just gotta make decisions quickly on the fly and live with it. Oh, there's a big bend coming up here. You did play Hawk Pursuit from like 2010 or whatever year it was, but you didn't like it. I, like I said, I think it was Hawk Pursuit. It might've been called something else, but it was like I said, the, the one that, uh, like, the cops chased you the entire time. And you were just kind of running away from them. And it was okay. It wasn't my favorite at all. I, I definitely prefer... I don't know if it was worth changing the camera for that tiny little bunny hop. Anyways, I definitely prefer these games to that one. But I either had owned that one or had borrowed it from a friend or something. I don't remember. I just remember playing it a fair bit. But I feel like if I had the option to play Underground, I probably would have been playing Underground instead. And that's why I think me and my cousin played Underground together. And then I either owned Hot Pursuit or borrowed it or whatever the case may be. All right, we're taking the left path. And then now the only thing is we have to dodge oncoming traffic. But we won't be stuck on all the outside bends. I guess that also means our turns are going to be a little bit tighter, so we gotta <laughs> gotta try to keep control of what the hell we're doing here, too. But... Okay. Coming up on the end, though. This is the last... The last split in the road, and then we got the one big turn. Uh, no! No! I'm so mad! Can we still make it? There's no way. There's no way. Second place. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. I was hoping we could like hit him or something. There's no way though. Yeah, he's about to fit cross the line. Oh, I'm so mad. We're doing it one more time, I guess. Whatever place we get this time, we're going to have to accept it. <laughs> I can't believe that. Hit that car head on right at the end, man. That was the end of the race. That's terrible. 
I'm, so, I'm just so disappointed in myself, you know? I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed with myself. <laughs> Alright. It's okay, we, we got it. It's gonna be alright, everything's gonna be okay. Channel our inner Dorseman here. He repeats that probably 30 times a day. Just, it's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be alright. Just gotta, we just gotta remember that. Just imagine, just picture him. Just picture his voice. You can hear it inside your mind. Just, everything's gonna be okay. Yes, there we go, okay. Did pretty good around that turn, I feel like. 67? It could have been a little bit cleaner, maybe, but... Again, with the slow-mo, I don't know if it's worth it there. This isn't no, uh... Burnout, man. Okay, really, though, don't hit the oncoming traffic again. It was definitely worth it to take that path, because taking the outside path is just... There's no way I feel like you're going to win unless your car is way faster than the uh, the other guys. But we got we really got to make sure we don't hit oncoming traffic head on. That's uh, not going to end well for anybody. I was surprised how close we were, though, considering that I did wreck like a uh, freaking dumbass. Rumor has it, if you say his name enough, it summons him. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised he hasn't popped in, to be honest with you. Just Dorseman, Dorseman, Dorseman. <laughs> no, don't hit the car. Okay, you know what? I, I'm not happy that we hit the wall, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'd rather hit the wall a couple times than... than to uh, run headfirst into... Another car. Again. And the other car is close, but we won. Oh, wasn't a huge win, but we won. So, we got this. <laughs> oh, man. That feels good. We didn't get any reputation for it, though. I wonder why. Is it because we didn't win good enough? Or is it because that was a required race from our sponsors? I don't know. Speaking of our sponsors, though, this stream has been sponsored. No, I'm joking. I don't, I don't have any sponsors. But Raid Shadow Legends, a game that I would probably never actually play because I don't like mobile games. Ah. The other guy had been too close to get cred. That's fine. I don't. I won the race. That's all that matters to me. I will take it. Give your engine a stylish new color cover. Come into any Bayview body shop today and check out the wide variety of new hoods that have just arrived. That'll have to wait until next time, because that is all we have time for today. I'm already over by a fair bit, but I was having fun with this game, and I didn't want to stop, guys. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Nate, thank you for being here, as pretty much always. Uh, Mr. Noodle, you as well. Avalon, thank you for coming in for Lord of the Rings, like you have so many times before, and then sticking around for some Lord of the... Or, for some Lord of the Rings, yeah. For some Need for Speed. Uh, Kayan and the the other new follower that we got, thank you both for keep coming in as well. I appreciate you all being here. And I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. I will see you next time. Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday night to play something. Haven't decided what yet, but, you know. It's not bad, and they have to be the easiest sponsor to get. Yeah.